One of the things that our minds is programmed from a deep unconscious level is to believe that doing is associated with moving forward and that not doing means stagnancy. And this isn't always the truth because today we are diving into the sacred pause and how much magic and beauty and wisdom can be cultivated from this place. If you saw yesterday's video, which I highly recommend, it's really the follow or the it leads into this of discerning, letting go of knowledge so that we may embrace wisdom. And I believe that in the sacred pause is when we have the opportunity to have all of the knowledge that we have learned percolate in our body and turn into wisdom because wisdom, as we have been shown, is an emanation. It's, it's a frequency. It's a field that we emit energetically, physically, emotionally. And so today's message... It's not just about the sacred pause, but really the invitation within it. And I'm really excited for this one because we are being shown and guided into an entirely new dimension of not just sitting on our couch and just saying the sacred pause, but really like harnessing this power deep in the body. And so I just invite you to take a few moments for yourself. Allowing yourself to receive, taking a big deep breath in, dropping into the body. And with that, let us dive in. Take a step back and look at what you've created. What a glorious and beautiful thing it is. Witness this. Bask in the admiration of all that you, a soul in a body, have come here and created. Even if you are not where you wish to be, yet, what we wish to bring forth today is the sacred pause. The sacred pause of witnessing, basking in appreciation, awe, grat and gratitude for what you dear ones have created. Where you live, how you live, what you do, how you do it, how you move, where you've gone, what you've healed, overcome, and moved through. Truly witness this. Truly allow this. Allow yourself to see, witness, cherish, and know just how far you've come. For some, this will bring up much resistance as there is often a collective feeling behind energy we pick up in the field. This is deliberate and on purpose and quite easy to feel with all of your modes and channels of interconnectedness. And so witnessing and allowing this aspect and emotion, if present, to also just be. It is not wrong or bad or need be shoved away and resisted for this is simply part of who, simply part of you who knows you are capable of more you are capable of infinite possibilities, doings, beings, possibilities, and accomplishments. But before transcending and up-leveling, this is the sacred pause. The time where you simply sit back, breathe into your new experience and witness who you've become what you've become, and all the beauty that has transpired along your journey. The mind is designed to dwell upon and remember the challenges, the hard times, and the moments of difficulties that have arisen. This again is okay. But in this sacred pause, the invitation is to bring in the opportunity or to bring in the opposing side of the coin, to bring in the glorious, the magnificent, the magic, the beauty, the divine moments of harmony, of love, and bask in these frequencies. Perhaps even bringing to mind a simple moment of stillness you've had while gazing upon a sunset or a sunrise, or a moment overlooking the vast sea. 
a moment of looking at a pet or a dear loved one as you felt your heart fill with so much love. For in these moments you saw and witnessed the presence and power of God, source, love, of infinite creation, abundance, and love the truth of your very nature. For many, you've had moments where looking into beauty and thinking, I never want to forget this moment. And then life goes on and the mind continues to seek growth and evolvement. The sacred pause is about bringing in these moments the I never want to forget this moments and allowing yourself to live, remember, sense, and feel these. And as you do this and welcome these in, you now prime yourself, the body, your field, and your experience for who and what you are becoming. The mind and desires for growth, achievement, and more will come back. And this is not to be pushed away, but rather to be held in tandem with these moments of sweet divine bliss, sweet divine presence, accomplishment, and love. And when these moments intertwine of desires of achievement and betterment, alongside acknowledging all that you have already experienced and become, you now create alchemy, magic, and true divine power within you and your experience. Breathe this in, welcoming the sacred pause and allowing yourself to bask in all you are. And so it shall be. And so it is. I pray that this message blesses you.